Hi, I'm Cathy from Wicked Lady Chains and today I'm going to show you how to do a basic 4-in-1 spiral. This is 4-in-1 spiral. Okay, this is done in bronze. Uh, the beauty of this chain, I like it anyway, is that it doesn't actually hold its shape. On its own, it's got a, a loose, random looking pattern. Obviously, it's not random, but it looks that way. And this chain will only spiral when twisted one way. So if I twist it forward, nothing happens. See, it stays the same. If I twist it back on itself, it spirals. Okay, but obviously because this doesn't hold its shape, um, it's only good for really long necklaces that don't need a clasp, so you can connect it to it itself or if you're using a bracelet once you clasp it it'll keep its spiral okay so to get started we're going to put two rings onto a piece of twine or you can use a larger ring whatever floats your board really okay and this weave is all about layering okay so we're going to start by putting our first ring on top of the one behind. Now whenever you add a new ring you will go behind the first two rings. So we're going to go behind these two into that eye formed where the red and the gold meet. Okay, So count it as bars then. So you go back two bars. One, two. So you go behind that second one. So you put a ring through there. remember it this is all about layering so each ring got a lay on top of the previous one okay so we had red we had gold we put the blue in into that eye and that now lays on top of the gold so we count back two bars one two so we go into that little gap here okay between the blue and the gold so we had a ring in and then this will also lay on top so we'll go on top of the blue okay so you've got red you've got gold you've got blue and now back to red so looking at this if we count back two bars the red and the blue we're coming up in between the blue and the yellow there so we'll just add another ring into that little gap or not these rings are very slippery okay so you're grabbing those two rings two new rings just laying on top of the others count back two one two so we're going in that hole grabbing those two turn your blue up so it's laid on top of the gold before count back two one two so we go through that hole okay grabbing those two rings same again Roll the red one up, count back two, one, two, so we go through that hole, there, catching those two rings, right, roll it on top, now see, as if you look at it, you can see each ring is laying on top of each other, yeah, count back two, one, two so we're going through this hole here capturing those two rings roll it up count back to one two so we're going through there a 
structure in those last two rings. So now when you start to twist backwards you can see you're starting to build your spiral okay. So go back to where you were, count back two, one, two, so we need to capture those two rings by going through there. Twist it up. Now you can always tell if you're going the right way because all the rings will be layered on top of one another in order. All right. So if it's looking like that, it's not working. You've got to twist it. Only one way will work. Come back two, one, two. So we need to capture these two end rings. Okay. Twist it up. Come back two. Capturing the last two rings. Twist it up. And see the weave will start to lock the further along it goes, so it's even easier to keep your place. Count back two, one, two. So we come in through this gap here, capturing these two end rings. <coughs> and this is all there is to it. You just go on and on and on. Capture two rings. Now, if you're feeling brave enough by this point, you can see just by looking at it the last two rings because one will hang down lower than the other. So, here it's the blue and the gold. So I don't even need to twist, I can just go straight through and grab, drop it down. Blue and red are the last ones, just go through, grab them, close, hang it down. Okay, I can see the red and the gold there are the last ones because they're the ones hanging down the lowest. Grab them to close and there's your spiral. Easy, isn't it?